crochet, and today we're going to take a look at making colored light shadows. Uh, they can be a lot of fun, and it's also a good lesson in additive mixture of light. So, let's take a closer look. This demonstration starts with these three LED lights that I purchased online for about $5 a piece. They come with a controller, 16 different color choices, and we can take a look at those. Let me put them into a lamp holder here. There we go. And if I take the controller and point it at the lamp, there's red, green, blue, orange, yellow. I can go through a variety of colors simply by pushing the different buttons. Now we can also use these colored spotlights, but they're not nearly as good. Now the setup is very simple. The lights are a short distance apart and named at the same spot on the wall. Now in this first trial, I have my LED light set to red, green, and blue. And if we combine them all in the center right here, it should appear white. In fact, if I put my arm here, it should look like it's underneath the lights for the room. However, when I pull my arms away, we see all these different colored shadows. And we should be able to identify eight distinct colors. I can see white, black, cyan, green, yellow, red, magenta, and blue. Which is pretty much the same as what we see on a standard color wheel. <laughs> All right, now let's try changing the colors of our LED lights. I like those. So as we change our initial light source, we can get all sorts of different mixtures as the end result. We can even try this with just two lights. For example, red and green give us yellow, and when I put my hand in that yellow light, I will see the original red and green lights. <laughs> 